All right, for my fifth DIY project, I decided to build a fuzz pedal. Now, as you look at my guitar pedal board here, you can see I pretty much have every pedal I need. Um, so I quit trying to find pedals a few years ago because I was like, I don't really need anything else. Um, but one thing I always had in the back of my mind was I don't have a fuzz box. So this is a three PDT kit that um, allows you to rebuild the classic color sound fuzz box circuit. They call this the one knob fuzz for obvious reasons. Um, so I bought this kit and um, a side note, this will probably be the last 3D PDT product I ever buy. Um, I'm not gonna rant about that now. I will put a little uh, snippet at the end of the video as to why I, I was unhappy with the kit. Um, so you don't have to suffer through it. You can watch it if you want to. Otherwise, just get right to the, the explanation, the demo. But it, it, it does sound great. Um, so I will say that it, it really is what I want. So my story behind this, you know, I remember the 1990s and I was learning to play guitar and I went to a, a, a shop and they had, you know, this cabinet of pedals. And I was getting to the point where I was like, hey, I'm getting a little better. I need to learn some of the things about these pedals and whatnot. So I um, remember this pedal and it was blue and it had like a funny shape to it. And it had this font on it that looked like a carnival or something, and it said Fuzzbox. And I thought it was the stupidest looking pedal ever. It didn't have an LED, didn't have a um, AC jack. It just literally had a foot switch, one knob, and an in and out jack. And it was big and ugly. And I remember thinking, who would want that pile of crap? And even the knob was ugly. I just remember thinking it was terrible. And of course, you know, when you're a teenager, um, you think that the way a pedal looks is obviously how it sounds and so that one was ugly So therefore it sounds like crap in my mind So years later I figured out oh my god that thing sounds amazing as I heard it on recordings and heard other people play with it And by then uh, these things had skyrocketed where they're they're selling for You know four or five hundred dollars or excuse me three four hundred dollars on eBay so uh, fast forward to about I don't know uh, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, on Harmony Central, somebody started posting the schematic for the Color Sound Fuzz, and they were like, hey, you can build your own. And I thought, well, that's great, but I'm not into DIY. Then, uh, all of a sudden, maybe about, I don't know, five, six years ago, some of these that people were building, like in their little home workshops, they were selling on sites like Etsy and Reverb, and you could buy them for a pretty cheap price. So I've always kind of been tempted by that, because it's the one pedal I don't have. So... Uh, as soon as I got into DIY, it just popped into my head, hey, I have got to build one of these, so I did. So without any more talk, let's get right to a demo of this thing. Well, instead of using the tiny tweed for this video, we're gonna use the real tweed. Um, this thing's been in storage for about a year. I actually forgot how awesome it sounded until I just plugged it in. So here we are, we got the fuzz box, tweed, SG Special. All right, so now let's talk about why I'm not impressed by this kit. So first of all, um, PDT calls it a full kit, but it's, it's absolutely not. Because the kit does not include this daughter board right here. Does not include this. You have to buy that separately. And you have to buy them in sets of three for the board only, or five for the board with this little ribbon cable. I don't know if you can see that too well because of the lighting, but yeah, there you go. 
So basically you have to buy either three or five of them, um, which is crap. That's just crap. I mean, charge $2 more for the kit and throw in all the pieces. That's just stupid. Okay, second, my kit, uh, also it does not include the box or the knob, which is fine, that's fine, but that means you gotta drill the box yourself. They do include a drilling template and it was fairly easy. Now um, I followed the instructions on the, or I guess there is no instructions, that's my next thing. The instructions, it doesn't even have instructions with it. Um, you open it and it basically has one sheet that has a picture of the finished board. They don't talk about this daughter board at all. Um, I mean, granted it's, it's pretty self-explanatory because it's labeled pretty well. But it's just, that, I don't know, I was not impressed. Um, the other thing you'll notice here, you look at this one, the one on here, this jack is a TS jack like you would expect, and this jack up here is a TRS jack. You can see it's got the three contacts. And there's no explanation as to why. Um, so I look and there's no explanation in the, in the instructions. So I was like, well, I'll just call them. Also, also my kit was missing the LED. Um, now that's probably an oversight and that does happen from time to time, but there was no LED in my kit. Luckily I had one around. So I thought that's okay, I'll just call them and clarify all this. Well, there's no number on the instructions, just their web address. So I go to their website and there's no number on their website that you can call. And there's not even an email, there's just a web form that you fill out to get more information. So I filled that out, I said, hey, got your kit, here's my questions. It's been probably seven to 10 days now and I still haven't got a response. After about two or three days, I sent a second query, no response to either one. So basically um, their service is shit. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. That's just crap service. Um, first of all, it shouldn't be called a full kit. They should throw in the damn daughter board and just charge $2 more for the whole kit instead of making you buy five of them. Um, they should put the right parts in the damn kit and they should have a number that you can call in case it's not right. So. Um, I'm basically done with 3PDT products. I won't buy another one. Um, I would encourage everybody else to not buy them uh, just because of my experience. Oh, and also, they um, tell you that this thing can be powered off either a AC jack or a 9-volt battery, and they give you the battery connector and the AC jack with the unit. Now tell me, here's the finished box. Tell me how you're going to fit a 9-volt battery in there. And so I thought to myself, maybe they mean or as in you have to pick one. But even if I wanted to power it off a 9-volt battery opposed to a plug, where would I put it? There's no room in that case for a 9-volt battery. The only thing I can think of is if you redrilled this board and you moved it maybe a quarter inch down or whatever you've got here towards the jacks, basically so it was right against the jacks, you might have enough room to squeeze a 9-volt in there. But if you did, it would be extremely tight. There's really no room for a 9-volt in this case. So even Now, it does sound great. My grandpa, um, my mom's dad, used to say years ago, uh, he, you know, grandpas always seem to have those tidbits of wisdom. And he used to say, you know, no matter how good your product is, it can't make up for bad service. But if someone's unhappy with their product, you can keep them as a customer based on your service. And he, that was one of his little tidbits that he always used to say, and it's just resonated with me. And... In this experience, 3PDT did not provide me service. I won't be back. I do love the product. I'm not sorry that I built it, but I don't want to give them any more of my money.